Well, everyone Part of what we've proposed in the context of the Frederick Douglass plan to dismantle the effects of systemic racial inequality in the country is a real focus on intentionally dismantling the health inequities. That means within the first 100 days, establishing a national health equity task force that will specifically map out where these inequities are sharpest. It also means creating and investing in what we're calling health equity zones. Again, this is an example of where uh, that will be defined and decided by local partnerships, local government, nonprofits, community leaders, but should have federal funding to help design a strategy and then make sure that strategy can uh, develop with support from the Department of Health and Human Services. How is that going to affect us in that aspect while maintaining? Uh, I believe that we can act to end the HIV AIDS epidemic by 2030, uh, that we can tackle a diabetes epidemic that has been heading in the wrong direction uh, in many ways in many communities. Um, and that we can end this crisis of maternal mortality in a country that uh, is lagging behind almost all developed nations, especially for the experience of black and other minority women. We also need to make sure, we <coughs> excuse me, I have my own health moment here. Um, <coughs> contact with you through, uh, through Jalen or through our campaign staff to make sure. We uh, so all through the spectrum, uh, we, we've got to be intentional about this. And the way I explain this to majority audiences is that this is not about doing anybody a favor. This is about fixing something that was broken on purpose and won't be fixed without intention. Because if you, if you save a dollar, that compounds over time, right? All, all, on into your descendants and, 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 and through the generations. Answer any questions I can about our vision. We also need to make sure that we're investing in the profession. Part of what's driving, we know, uh, the issues around health equity, things like the maternal mortality gap, is that there is often a lack of cultural competency. Uh, there is bias, explicit and implicit, in the system. And that means training our health workforce to be anti-racist and to combat these kinds of bias in the clinical environment. It also means simply recruiting and empowering more clinical professions, uh, uh, professionals uh, who come from the very communities that have been excluded. Or families that have been affected by the criminal justice system. But I do believe it is necessary to ensure that everybody can get covered. That's the idea of the Medicare for all who want it strategy that we favor, that everybody would have access to a quality public plan. If it's low income uh, folks, then uh, it will be subsidized so they don't pay anything out of pocket. Uh, it, as your income rises, we still make sure that it's never more than 8.5% of anybody's income to pay for the premiums to get on an excellent plan.